Hello, so um, I'm building the Emma's workstation with her and I'm making it so the actuator will push it up using the sliders. I'm gonna have to fix it here and then to slide up. I made this lead first of all, but I didn't account for the slider um, width. So I have to make a new one. So I made this one now. So yeah, so that's the new one and that's the old one. So now once I finish it, it should slide in up and down no problem. And I'll act the actuator to lift it up and down. And then I'm gonna use one actuator because I broke the second one. <laughs> but yeah, once it's all done, it should be good. It's slowly getting there. Okay, so I've made the slider part. It's a bit stiff. That's how it should be going up and down. But it's a bit. It's a bit stiff, but something was. If you lubricant, it should go easily. I'll just have to put some cross section here to help even out the the pole. Hello. So I've just painted inside, I'm giving it a touch up paint. Painted inside, and now also while that dries, I've come outside to adjust it. Um, the table flash seat and just like that it's done it took me about i don't know half an hour 20 minutes i'm just gonna test it out now and make sure that it works but it's much smaller now it should fit in the gap really easily okay right we're inside the van again if you look now it fits much much better Better, better fit than it before so now it's, it fits way better yeah i can put my finger through there and through there so now it shouldn't um scratch the bulkhead and the shower looks good oh yeah forgot to take this out okay right I'm gonna in install this for the last time and then wire up the electricals and everything. It should be good. Okay. Hey guys, so I'm just, just still working on the seat. And now what I'm gonna do is drill a hole through the van and put a bolt through here. And the van, these are aluminium plates to help distribute the weight. Now use a long bolt like this that will go under the van and then bolt it in because with this seat it's screwed in place now but if, if I were to sit on it you can see it pulling forward so by securing it down with the bolts at the back and that will mean that it stays steady and doesn't pull forward I'm just doing that now that's why i've got my protective hearing glasses gloves which <laughs> i need to change here yeah. i've had these gloves since the beginning of the build it needs changing and to get new ones and yeah and then my hammerites hammerite paint and primer metal paint and primer just spray underneath the van yeah it's going well. I'm just gonna do that now. Right, so underneath the van, I've got the four four bolts. Got two there, or was primed, one there, one there. So it's all primed and ready. Okay. Right, so it's getting there slowly. Okay, update. I've installed this. So I'm sitting right on it. My legs are off the floor. My legs are off the floor. So it's taking my weight. So that's good. 
sticking my way. That's nice. Okay, now I just need to put some plywood on it or maybe some wood. I'm not sure yet. Still deciding. We'll see. Okay. Hey guys, it's another day and I have now sanded this down, straightened it out because it was bent before. But now it's a bit straighter. Well, I've, because it's not as wide as the seat, so I cut out some excess and I screwed it in to the end. So what I will do now, I've also used some of the shavings. What I will do now is use the shavings, mix it up, and fill up all these screw holes and all these marks in the middle. So that way it'll be seamless. That's the idea anyway. I've got PVA glue. I mix it with that and then stir it in and then put it on there. Hopefully it works out as I thought as I in my mind. Hopefully it works out as, I, as what I'm thinking. But we'll see. Okay, we're gonna do that now and then apply it to the wood, let it dry, and then sand it down. Then it should be good. We'll see. Okay. Hello, it's a brand new day. And I have last last yesterday I put the wood filling filings in there with some glue and it's quite rough and this morning just did a sample with an 80 grit can you tell the difference so this is it it's a bit rough because i use 80 grit but i'll use smoother grit on it but yeah it looks looks nice doesn't it i haven't done this side yet or this side but I'm going to use the nest this morning to sand this down completely. And when it's done, I will oil it up. It's getting there slowly. <laughs> okay. Hello. So I thought I'd just show you a trick which you do so not to it's not to happen to you. If you drill a hole, if you drill a hole through the wood, sometimes you get splits like this happening right there. You get those splits happening to the wood. These splits, it doesn't look good. So what I would I suggest you do first of all is to get a very, very, very small drill bit. The smaller the better. Drill your pilot hole, just like that. And then to give you a small split, okay? And then get your bigger drill, the drill bit, and then drill a bigger hole. From the side, you're not gonna be seen. Just drill a tiny bit in, so it doesn't go all the way through. And then you still have your small drill bit here showing. So what you then do is to get the, the other side, get a drill bit, I just show you very quickly. Very good. But that drill bit, align it to the small drill bit. Align it to the small drill bit, and then and then drill the hole, and you should have very minimum splits very minimum split like this one and the rest and if you turn the back you also have minimum split so this is how you get minimum split in your wood if you're drilling hole through it okay right so i have finished it now you just need to oil it what do you think Yeah, I'm gonna oil it now and then hopefully it turns out well. But well, this is the back and this is the front. It's turning out like I, I imagined in my mind, which is good. <laughs> in van life build, nothing turns out as you imagine. But well, I'm glad this is turning out. But yeah, okay.